So you might be wondering, how can the fact that I got cheated be a good thing? Well, I learned a valuable lesson. Um, I guess when I found out how it was connected, I didn't get cheated all that much. But thing is, this is a Soviet steel helmet. Uh, I bought this as a World War II item. It said uh, stamped uh, 42 or 43 and uh, I was bidding on some other things and I thought wow that was cool. So um, yeah, I, uh, I won the bidding and got it home. And like other things that I buy, I start to investigate. Um, is it correct? And uh, the lesson that I have learned the hard way, I can't say I didn't know it, but let's, let's rewind a bit. If I had paid top dollar, if I had taken all the money from the register, which is empty, it's just a display thing. It has a personal background. No mind, not a story. But if I had used all my money and it was my burning desire to own this helmet, of course I would have done it the other way around. But I didn't. Because if I had watched World War Guys videos on steel helmets, historic military or M40 military, just to name a few, um, I would quite easily have recognized that these rivets make this helmet later in World War II. Watching those videos from the guys that I, I just mentioned, from the channels I just mentioned, gives me reason to believe that this is a SH, SSH-60 helmet. And um, that is because the rivets are up here. If it was an earlier helmet, the rivets should all be here. Um, and then there's something about the way the, the air protection goes a little bit further down. Um, so that's why I think it's a 60 and not a 68. So, and 60 gives the year. So a lot of crazy things happen in the world as well. I don't really know. Some I guess the helmet has been lying like this forever. Probably dumped somewhere. Um, and it has a four-piece liner. That should also be a giveaway. I think it should only be a, a, a three-piece liner. It was if it was one of the earlier ones. And um, from the various videos I have seen, this where it is it's a bit. Yeah, this type of material combined with a leather spring um, that uh, gives me reason to believe that this is uh, the 60 model. Somebody has uh, erased all the marks. There's only a number here, but that doesn't give the year. So, and also here, maybe somebody has been trying to find the number or they have erased it. Could that be because it has been used by somebody has that has uh, captured it. I don't know. The only thing that's uh, readable, except for the number up here, which is, is a serial number, is uh, 28 down here. But uh, I think that's maybe the factory. But uh, yeah. But during my research, I also found out that. There is no way that uh, you can buy a, a 36 or 40 helmet for the kind of money I paid for this one, so I didn't get che cheated money-wise, so it's okay. I'm still happy. I didn't have one before, so, and I learned a new thing yet again, so, but if you are smarter than me, Tell me if you think I'm correct that this, that this, for example, makes it a 60 and not the 60, 68 model.
I could be wrong. As I have just stated, it has happened before. Okay. What can I say? Writing on some military that it has a some kind of war connection, especially World War Two. Simply, usually, yeah, pushes the price up, and uh, that's fair enough. I also bought this another time. Uh, it also said World War Two. I have no idea yet if that is correct. Uh, I paid silly money for it, and uh, I did that because of this extremely crude repair. But uh, if it's uh, correct that it's World War Two, I don't really give a shit about this repair. I think it's was just fun, and I paid like fifty Danish crowns. That is like five pounds, so yeah, not even ten euros. So. I guess I can live with the risk, but that is a nasty repair. But I can't really see any markings, so if you are a specialist on those belts, what do I call it? I'm lost for words. You know what it is, quite obviously. Well, give me a shout. But, uh, yeah, but that's just the way it is. You buy and you learn. Some read a book. I do that as well, but I just buy the thing first and read the book afterwards. Maybe I should change that. But um, see you in the next one where we. I think we'll look at some more helmets. See you.